Hi, I'm Dan Slick, pitmaster for Slick's Big Time Barbecue. Through my travels and barbecue competitions and events, I've picked up on some secrets and tips that I want to share with you today that will help you championship barbecue every time you grill it up. Let's get cooking. Okay, if you're like me, I want to know how to make the best ribs possible. Many people when we're doing ribs, serving up our championship ribs, ask me, how do I make these at home? Well, one of the first questions I ask them is, do you take the membrane off? Half the people I ask look at me funny. They don't even know what we're talking about. The other half just don't do it because they don't know an easy way to get it off and it takes too long. I'm going to show you today how to take these membranes off in a short, easy, fast way. All right, today we're going to use some baby backs. You could use spare ribs, you can use St. Louis. Just a different cut of the rib. All of them come out about the same as long as you do the three things that you need to do properly to prep these. First and foremost, we're going to take the membrane off. Now a friend of mine from Ohio, barbecue champion, showed me this after many, many months of me trying to find somebody that could teach us a fast, easy way to do it. Because like you, this took me five, ten minutes to get one rack of rib membrane off. I wanted it off, but it just took forever. Simple spoon, paper towel, two little tricks. You start on the small end of the bone, we get that bone started. Once that pops up like that, we grab a paper towel. If we get really lucky, we get a hold of the whole membrane and it strips off like magic. This goes in the trash, ribs ready for rub. I walk over here to my sink. I always like to put a little rinse off if there's any extra re residual. I throw that off of there. Now we're ready for the rub. A good rub is very important. That's what makes championship ribs. I use ours, Slicks, big time, butt and rib rub. Put a nice liberal amount of rub on. Get the front side of the meat. Flip it over. Hit the back side, hit the sides, hit the ends. Don't be scared to put some rub on there. And this is another reason we take that membrane off so we can get the rub and the flavor into the whole piece of meat. All right, it's been an hour. Our process is one hour meat up. I flip them over. We go one hour meat down. This is how we do it every time. No shortcuts. Championship barbecue takes time. We'll be back one hour for the next step. Okay, our two hour sequence for our championship ribs. Pull these out. Been in here for two hours. We throw them in a foil. Some people call this tenting. Some call it Texas crutch. I put a little moisture in. I use our sweet and tangy sauce so it's not too spicy. Put a little moisture in there. Foil it up. I just roll it up so it's sealed. Nice and tight. Both ends. This steams the rest of that cartilage. Throw it back on the grill. We grab another rack. Bone side up. Get some sauce on it. Foil together. Get a little bit sealed up, it steams it. Now some people don't use foil, this really moistens them up. This is what creates that fall off the bone texture. We're going to put those back in there, another hour, we'll be back to finish them off. Alright, our foil phase is done, then about an hour, we're going to pull these out. Be careful when you take these out of the foil, you're going to have some steam coming out, they're going to be hot. You want to be careful. They're going to be loose. They're going to have a little moisture to them. You want to be careful. Grab them with the tongs. Put them back on the grill. We're going to let them dry out a little bit. Got two racks here ready to roll. Now this, this is where we get our extra tenderness. But I want to let them dry out just a little bit, about 15 minutes. We're going to be right back, start glazing them. Look how these look. Regular ribs, look like everybody else's. 
until we put our magic glaze on. I use the same glaze I use for chicken. It's a combination, sweet and, sweet and spicy, Snake River Stampede. Just glaze them up. I like a paintbrush. Kind of gets the whole width of them, makes it fast and easy so you're not over the flame and the hot. And those are ready to go. 15 minutes, we'll be back, flip those over and do the other side. There we go. Okay, hold right from there. Go ahead. All right. Been about 15 minutes. I'd like to give them a little time to get that soaked in on that side. We're going to flip them over. We're going to do bone side up this time. Put another level of glaze on it. Want to catch the edges too. Every bite needs to have the flavor. Catch some edges. You never know who's getting which piece of meat. You got to love the barbecue process as much as you love your neighbor, family, and friends that you're going to serve these to. All right, 15 more minutes. We're back. All right, I'm excited. These ribs are almost done. It's got to be the funnest of all the barbecue meats is ribs. You got to be careful. You got to grub these together. They're ready to fall apart. Look, the meat's already starting to come off the bone. That's what you're looking for. I'm going to slap one last layer on the top side. Get these things ready for TV right there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Those are our championship ribs. That's what we win with right there. We'll be back in about 10 to pull those off and give them a cut. Fired up to eat me some ribs. All right, these things are ready to go. Now what we do is I pull them off hot and I'm gonna let them rest for about 10 minutes. Pretty much all the kind of meat we wanna do, we're gonna let that stuff rest and we're gonna come back Give those a cut. All right, these are ready to cut. I always cut them bone side up. I can see the bone, I can see the angles, I don't miss. Give it a little cut, edge. Now, one thing you wanna do is, once you cut on the front edge, cut on every edge so that each piece gets an even amount of meat. These are baby backs again. Gonna have a little thicker, sweeter meat than your spare ribs. But I'm gonna take one of those. Look at that smoke ring. Those babies are ready to go. Oh, just pulling off the bone. Oh, so sweet, so good. I love me some baby backs. Mm-mm-mm. That's Slick's Big Time Barbecue, championship style.